welcome back to my channel. Now some of you may or may not know that as well as a YouTube channel, I also have a podcast. It's me and my friend Femke talking about design and side projects. It's called Design Life and I really like it and you should check it out if you haven't already. We've been doing it for about a year now and as part of our one year podcasting anniversary, we wanted to release a special product to an online store. So we launched a sticker pack. It was designed with our listeners in mind who are this group of really motivated, awesome creatives. So it's all stickers inspired by that. And I thought you might find it interesting to hear about how we went about getting these sticker packs produced because a lot of it was done very DIY way. I physically put them all together myself and I'm gonna show you how I do that here in this video, as well as give you some advice for getting stickers printed, designing stickers, etc. if creating a sticker pack is something that you're interested in doing. We had three main goals in mind with our sticker pack. We wanted to have really high quality vinyl stickers in it. We wanted there to be a good range of stickers so that there was, you know, something for everyone and also that there was enough in there that it was worth people paying the $10 price point for it. And we also wanted to make the whole package in general feel really high quality and special when they receive it. From that we decided that six stickers in varying sizes would be a good number to go with. So the first one that I designed was this one here. It says Side Project Addict, which is something that I often put in my bios online. I just really like it as a phrase because we are addicted to creating new side projects for ourselves. I designed this one in this stacked format and this side, the side project is actually in my handwriting. The Addict is the font, but yeah. I really like how it turned out and I put the little Design Life FM at the bottom, the URL, just to keep it connected to our brand. Also in the pack, we have a logo sticker. We didn't want our whole pack to be full of logo stickers because I think that's kind of, I don't know, a bit of a rip off and a bit cheesy when brands do that. So you buy a sticker pack and then it's basically just their logo in different sizes. But this one here is our Design Life logo. It's got a purple background with the logo in white on top. It's really small and cute and I think it's really nice. Next is one that Femme designed. This one here says, make things. This one is hand lettered and then vectorized which makes it really special. And that's how we created our logo too actually. But yeah, really special sticker and a good reminder to create stuff. Next we have three circular stickers which are really good for filling in space on laptops. I don't know if you've seen my laptop but I'll insert an image of it here. First one is this little icon of a microphone, it just says design life for motivated creators which is our like tagline I suppose. Then I wanted two more circular ones and I put different icons on them. So first up this orange one here which obviously matches the colour of the make things sticker. It says stay motivated keep creating which is like a nice little reminder. And the light bulb is meant to symbolise ideas, which is obviously something you need for side projects. And then the last one, it has the same outside to it, but on the inside is a pencil cross with a ruler. That's like an icon that's generally used to signify creativity or design. When I had all the files for the stickers, I saved them as PDFs and I got them printed through Sticker Mule, which is a really great website for high quality vinyl stickers. I went for the custom die cut option for most of them and then the circular ones obviously for the circle stickers but they can cut the stickers to any shape you want good print quality as well so i can definitely recommend them if you're looking to make a sticker pack for yourself not sponsored or anything just genuinely think it is a good site so as you can see when you put these stickers together the colors go together nicely and there's that nice mix of the more structured circular icon stickers with the hand lettered stickers as well to package them because we obviously didn't want to just put a bunch of stickers in an envelope and send them because that doesn't look so nice. I bought a bunch of these little Ziploc bag things and I just put the stickers inside them to start with. When I stacked them too I tried to make it so that the side project one which is the biggest is at the back and a logo one is at the front because I know that's going to look nice inside the package. But this is still not special enough on its own. So as well as that I have these tops for the sticker packs that I got printed at just a print shop near my work. So it's got our logo on the front and says sticker pack and then on the back it says stay motivated to keep creating that phrase that I like. It's got a URL and also um, out of 50 and then I hand number which one in the series it is. We decided to make this sticker pack a limited edition run of 50 just to make it a bit more special. Attach this to my package. I'm just using double sided sticky tape. So I've got one strip on the top and one on the bottom. Generally just put the card down and I'll try to do it so you can see. Peel off the sticker from the bottom layer, grab my packet and line it up evenly so that the Ziploc line is just above where the sticky tape is. And stick that down. Then peel the top and stick that down. 
And then you have a sticker pack that looks much more professional, even though you did it yourself. So this is what we showed on our site and what our listeners bought. I think it looks really cute, all packaged up together. Inside the package though, when we sent them, we wanted to include something special as a little extra that we didn't, you know, promise we were going to send or talk about anywhere. We wanted it to be a nice surprise when people opened their packages. So what I did was get these little prints made. This says Side Project Addict. It's the same design as the sticker, but reversed. Um, and it's blank on the back so that I could write a message on there before I put it in the post. I think it's really nice when you're selling products to include something special extra in the package that uh, the buyer didn't actually order, but you know that they'll like anyway. And something like a print is really cheap to get produced, especially at this small size as well. But the thought goes a long way and this is a nice thing that people can put on their walls, obviously. So that is our sticker pack. I hope you enjoyed hearing about it and what went into making it. I think there's often more than you think, like more effort than you think that goes into making physical products. So I hope you found this interesting. If you'd like to buy one of these, they are limited edition, but we do have, I think there's about 10 or so left in the store at the moment. So if you want to be quick, uh, there'll be a link down below in the description or you just head to designlife.fm slash store. You can pick up one of the last sticker packs and stick them on your computer. If you have any more questions, if there's anything I didn't cover, please feel free to ask them down below in the comments and I will get back to you. Thank you for watching. Give it a thumbs up if you enjoyed it and I will see you next time. Bye.